I'm working on big Hollywood movies that, um, you know, uh, are commercial uh, films, but uh, my background is <laughs> European films, smaller films, experimental films. I did a lot of documentaries when I, when I was here. So that's the kind of film that appeals to me. I'm, I'm in love with film in general. So if I can make both an entertaining film and use the, the things that I've learned here, the techniques and the theories and stuff like that, even sometimes in a kind of a uh, su subliminal way incorporating that, I think because they have worked in the classics, they work nowadays as well. So it's, it's a re, uh, not always a reinventing, but uh, just a basic way of how to advance both film language and make it entertaining. So finding those two, uh, two worlds to... Uh, to balance out. Right. I think uh, people know that the language of film is an evolving language and that uh, certain things uh, you know, um, come through it in terms of how can you tell something different? How do you uh, create uh, a specific uh, emotion or complex emotion in a different way? It, you, you don't have to be stuck in, in, in rigid in, in, in particular rules. So the f what I, as an editor, uh, the, the, the pleasure I get is to be able to uh, you know, pull the film apart. I know the elements that uh, uh, that work or, or create certain emotions. I mean, if it has to do with, um, you know, um, for example, on, on JFK, with uh, you know, incorporating stock footage, you know, different formats. But I was interested in movement, and I was taking the clues from uh, Bob Richardson, the director of photography, that yes, the whole film was moving, but what he did, which was very interesting, was he was moving the image within the frame, a different type of, like step frame. So it's, it's those things that, you know, you, you, you start to uh, uh, go a little bit deep and say, yes, you know what, I, I, I recognize a, a certain uh, camera movement that is absolutely, uh, uh, you know, a Bertolucci camera movement. I want to use that. I, you know, I work with uh, uh, Bertolucci, so I know what uh, what he brings in his language, a kind of musicality between the movement of, 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 a, uh, of a camera, of a dolly, and why that, that particular dolly is, is uh, musical when it cut to something else. Mm -hmm. Or how do you break that up in the story? If you, you say, oh, you can't cut from a moving shot to static. Well, you can, you, you can break it up. So for me, it's, a, it's not in terms of changing it, you know, but in terms of exploring and pushing uh, those kind of uh, things forward. There's not anything specific that you, you get learned in terms of mechanics, you know, in terms of how do, how do I use a splicer, how do I use film. Those are the things that you pick up. But I, what I learned here was, uh, I, I guess I absorbed the energy of the people around me, the, the excitement of, of making film, the trying things out, and this kind of maybe naive and uh, innocent way of, of going out there and, and trying things, things out and, and, uh, and not being uh, limited to a, a rigid, um, uh, dogmatic uh, way of doing things. There's many ways of, of doing it, and, and the way I explore uh, the, uh, the films, and I think what ultimately just gave me a very strong um, basis, both in terms of seeing movies, see all kinds of movies, you know, enjoying them, uh, talking about them, being influenced by the, uh, the other students around there for their films, how they do it, uh, you know, being actually learning to put your hands on, on equipment, on a mixing board, on a camera, you know, all those things uh, uh, make you a, a fuller filmmaker. Mm -hmm. So you know how to write, you know, you should be interested in, uh, in how uh, videos work, you know, how to shoot a documentary, you should be interested in also learning about uh, Metz or Foucault or Lacan, whoever those people are. Yeah, and that's why I don't believe people say, well, you know, what is, like, people do things to what is style or do you have a particular style or do you, do you uh, are, there, are there rules, you know? Yes, there are certain rules, you know, I mean, in terms of, like, uh, how you tell, <laughs> what's good storytelling, how do you recognize um, story points, how do you make those, those things come alive? I, I want to talk about a, a particular scene in, in Gladiator. Now, Gladiator opens with, uh, with an image, with, uh, you know, a hand over wheat. Uh, um, before we actually cut to the close-up of Russell Crowe staying in the middle of the, of the battlefield. Now that is an image that was shot in the last day of shooting, after months and months. Uh, it was intended as part of a, a dream sequence when he goes into the afterlife. Uh, but there was something really evocative about that particular image. 
the, the time it was shot, the color, the, the kind of uh, sensuality of the wheat in the field. And to me, it was a very strong image. And I always felt, would it be possible to reduce the theme of the, of the film into one single image, right? That was, that was the goal, a challenge. Now, that image is not written in the script. It's not dictated by the director where it goes, but I, after I had the film already built, I said, I want to put that image in front of the close-up. There is yeah. a sensuality to uh, the way something is shot, the way it's lit. And you have to recognize, I mean, we learn in terms of recognizing what those uh, signs are, what specific meanings are those. And, and so as, as an editor, as a storyteller, you concentrate on those specific meanings and that each meaning, each thing you do, each shot that is there should be there, be there for a purpose, each piece of dialogue. How does the rhythm work? How does your subconscious as a, as a viewer work, you know? And so it, it, it is, a, I look at it, it's, it's very musical in my opinion. And so for me, music is all important in films as, as well. But, uh, I like also seeing the musicality in images, you know, and, and be able to um, to incorporate those.